up, guys? We're going to talk to the FSL people here. Who's playing? Uh, hello, my name is The Little Reaper, and um, I play Protoss, and um, I've got a platinum one. Nice. Hey, I'm Tian Pong. Um, I play Protoss, and I am Gold 3. Well, I've achieved Gold 3. Nice. Okay, so, tell me your name, game name, your ranking, what, what yeah, race yeah. you play. I'm, uh, I'm Dominic, I'm Jipu. Uh, I play everything and I'm a uh, plat one, I think. Yeah. Nice. Uh, hello, I'm uh, Ethan. Uh, I go by ET. Uh, I play Terran, I'm like Silver too. So, nice. Alright, Menace, Zerg, Diamond One. Alright. Okay. Hyper Turtle, Platinum Random. Nice. Tell me your game name, your race, and what level are you? Uh, War Bunnies, I'm a Protoss, and uh, Low Diamond. Nice. I am Fenrir. I am a Silver One player. I don't know my MMR. I'm a Terran. Nice. Uh, I. Okay. So tell me your name. Instability. And, yeah, what race you play in your ranking. Uh, I'm in Diamond 2 with Protoss, but tonight I'll probably be playing Beautiful. Hey, I'm Trafel. I play Random, and I'm High Diamond. Nice. And, uh, um, I'm Tian Pone. Oh, yeah, we saw you already. There you yeah. go. And this is E.T. He's going to be casting. Howdy. All right. And uh, that guy is Caliber. He'll be playing later, too. And that's our FSL group. We'll see you guys in a bit. Friday the 13th, we are getting ready to get the FSL moving again, and we're doing things in a little different way this time around. This time, going to the be a league battle between five brutal, highly skilled teams, including uh, one of mine. And tonight, we're going to be doing a little draft. I have with me the team captains. I've got Nutrafil. Revenant Rage, Nachos, and War Bodies. Now, the way this is going to work is we're going to be picking out of a pool of just about everyone who's previously been involved with an FSL season. Now, whether or not uh, the people on the list are going to be able to play, that's kind of up to the captain to figure out. So we're probably going to be focusing on the players that were recently active first. But before anything else, I want to I want to meet our captains here. First of all, we've got me. Uh, I'm Hyper Turtle. I am the commissioner of the FSL and managed to take Code A last season. I've been playing StarCraft since the original game came out and getting myself a nice little uh, pile of collectibles over the years, currently on a big achievement run for StarCraft II. And uh, I've been helping cast as well. And back here in St. Paul, Minnesota, I run Minnesota Barcraft. Now next, one of the neat things is we've got a wide range of people here as far as when they got involved. Revenant Rage, you're a bit more of a newcomer here, starting last season, but you hit the ground running. I believe you won Code B, and you've uh, gotten yourself uh, into a higher league or two since then, haven't you? Yep, I came in as a Gold 1 or Gold 2, and I'm now Plot 2, going on Plot 1. The system works, people. And that's another great thing about this. We're going to be able to coach and be coached by our teams. We're going to have people giving advice in between rounds. And Revenant Ridge, you know, for those who haven't seen you before, just give us a quick idea of your history with the StarCraft franchise. I've been playing since just before the launch of Legacy of the Void. I was introduced by my stepdad. Um, and it... I kind of latched onto it. I bought a gaming laptop only for StarCraft, so, yeah. I like your commitment. 
All right, then we got Nachos, another relative newcomer. Last season was your first one, right? That's correct. And... It, was, it was a great fun, and I was glad to uh, come back for season eight. This is amazing. Yeah, and you've been very eager to help, too. I would also like to point out that you've got about as majestic of a beard as I think someone can grow. <laughs> very nice. Flattery will yes. get me everywhere, I'm sure. And yeah, how about <laughs> tell us about yourself and Starcraft. Well, you know, as indicated from the beard, uh, I am quite uh, advanced in age. Uh, so I was there when, uh, well, I was there when Warcraft 1 came out. Uh, mm -hmm. I was about 18, I think. So uh, so uh, I was there when Starcraft came out, was blown away by it, loved every minute of it. But I had the weirdest thing because I um, was playing everything in the world but Starcraft 2 when it came out in 2010. Mm -hmm complete just skipped over right and then oh. i did not get back into i didn't get a starcraft 2 uh actually until 2020 until the COVID hit um and uh That's good time for it yeah and i will tell you you know what the one thing that got me switched from starcraft to starcraft 2 was the fact that you can rally your workers to the mineral lines that was it it was like Ooh. oh you can do that oh I'm Starcraft 2, all the way. That was it. So I'll, I'll learn the game. So you you never you never uh, you never took advantage of that in Warcraft 3. No, I, I played a little bit of Warcraft 3, but I'm I'm more of a sci-fi type guy, and it was just mm -hmm. like Starcraft and Starcraft 2 was just everything. It was it for me. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that was it. All right, to infinity and beyond, dude. Oh, oh, I, I want to I yeah. say the, this thing about yeah. FSL. Uh, mm -hmm. So last season I came in, uh, I was Terran. I, I think it was like maybe P3, P2 Terran. And uh, I, but I came into FSL doing random. I rolled up random. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I really, because of FSL, because I was rolling up random, I really fell in love with Zerg. And so now I'm a uh, gold one Zerg. Um, hey. Loving, loving it. Yeah, I love the Zerg, so it's so it makes sense to me. And the grass that. is always greener on the other side of the creek, man. No doubt, no doubt. So I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Fantastic. Then we have uh, a big FSL veteran, uh, Nutrafil. You were you there for the very first season when it was still just the Family Star League? Yeah, I've been around since the beginning. All right. Yeah, you you got family ties all over the place in this league. And honestly, you did pretty well for yourself last season. Like the didn't movie you? where you're at the beach and the, the wave yeah, is coming because an asteroid. The top four, which is good. Yep. Yeah, you've uh, you know, looking at your record, you've been you've been somewhere in the top of Code Ass most seasons. So, you know, I'm sure you've got a lot of wisdom to pass on to your uh, to your teammates, and that might include Deepu, who I believe is here to potentially take over for you when you've got to move on to your next tasks, right? Um, I wasn't actually supposed to be here today, but um, mm -hmm. I ended up being sick, so I don't have to go to my obligations. So I'll be able to draft the whole time. <laughs> oh, all right. So what what are we gonna do with the dude over there? Uh... I'm here. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm here for the big decisions, the first couple power picks. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll see whether someone can turn him against you in short order. <laughs> all right. Well. That was a lot of ado, because that's what I do. And without further of it, let's get to it. Uh, KJ, go ahead and bring the graphics up. We... Yep. Like snake. Okay. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing the graphics here. We... A lot of us have participated in some similar things in the past, but this is a first for FSL. We're going to be doing a lot of matches where it's our Code A player against the other guy's Code A player. Code B, Code B. Code S, Code S. And then, you know, putting people together for 2v2s and for a big ace match, potentially. All right. Vanna White, give it a spin. Well. Ah, uh, there it is. Oh, 
on neutrophil. You thought it was all you, right? Rigged. Okay. So. Alright. Someone else say go, because I've already been picked. No. <laughs> Neutrophil. Come on, guys. Got to get on it. One of one of the remaining people say go. Uh, go. Good job. <laughs> Let's go. Revenant Rage is number three. Oh, you can't just do mm -hmm. two, huh? Okay. Okay, there you go. So that's between War Bunnies and Nachos, I believe. War Bunnies. Yep. It's going to be Hyper Turtle, Neutrophil, Revenant Rage, War Bunnies and Nachos. And Nachos, of course, you may be last but not least because you're the first one that gets to choose two in a row. That's right. We're going to be going back and forth here. All right. So, yeah, KJ, show me uh, show me what we're going to do as far as the visuals here. Sure thing. Mm -hmm. War Bunnies. Correct. I think two for each pick. Double check. Mm -hmm. Two minutes for each pick. Heck yeah, that's what that's what that. I we understood it. Right. Oh. So, if you need to look something up, then you got a minute or so. Yes, indeed. If two minutes elapse, I believe that you have to wait and then, you know, eventually it'll come, you know, that pick waits until the very end. Right? Uh, no. I don't think that's going to happen very often, honestly. I don't think that's going to happen at all. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So in other words, you better pick. You it won't it won't auto pick for you. No. No, that would take effort. Yeah, for sure. All right. So I. I want to do. I want to do just like in any team league. I want to just go ahead and grab the top guy. I'm taking Dark Menace. Mm -hmm. This is this is probably going to take more decision making as we move along, but yeah. That's Cody. Yeah. So for Hyper Turtles team, we will have Zerg player Dark Menace Codas. I think there's a problem with the um, uh, stuff right now. He said he's going to pick the best player, but that doesn't say Deepu. Happened. It's so true. <laughs> problem with the production or something? I don't know. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, yeah, let's see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Free pick, free pick. <laughs> yeah. Right here. Okay, let's, let's still play neutral, Phil. Oh, yeah, I know what's to play. Me. Yeah, locking in you. Okay. <laughs> All right, that removes a lot of potential complications. I love it. All right. 
And Revenant Rage, who have you got? Also, isn't Deepu Rage Kode? Mm. Yeah. So we have a few more Code S Zergs than I thought we did. That's good. Yeah, we got a lot of Code S Zergs. You know, last season we actually had to split them in half just to make it manageable. Mm hmm. All right, Reverend Bridge, you still got a minute and a half here. Oh, I was muted. Okay. Uh, I choose Freedom. Okay. Excellent. Freedom, Kodas, Protoss. No, Freedin, right? Yeah, my teammate. Mm hmm. With the N at the end, yep. Well, yeah, technically. All right, let's reset the timer. Let's go to Werba. Fails. Didn't take you long. Uh, no. Fails. No. Kodas Terran, right? Yeah. Yes, similar names confuse the production team. You know, lucky that Nutra failed. You know, we had Deepu on here already. Or, you know, when we were first looking at this, there was also, I think, uh, I think Deepu, you were actually listed multiple times, also as uh, as Spaghettio and playing something. Yeah, I saw that. I went through a couple. <laughs> of all, all right, the... Nachos. Real quick, all, right. are all the people on the the list available. Are all these people actually available? Available. You'll have to find out. As we get yeah. further in there, we might actually have some people that'll be on the list, but it's up to the captains to see if we can track them down. <laughs> no, no, War Bunnies is a plumber. Plumbers don't read rules. They just no. do. All right, Nacho? I'm ready to go with... Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me... Uh, for the back-to-back, -back, uh, my first pick will be Sir uh, Malagent. And uh, with my next pick, uh, may I draft KJ Freedom? KJ, may he? Yep. You may. Hey, yeah, don't yeah. miss that. Ooh. All right, we are moving along nice and quickly. War bunnies, instability. <laughs> now it is Revenant Rage's turn. Uh, I will go with DLS Mizzel. Our local artist. Alright, Um, I think we're gonna have to go with Little Reaper. That's... Probably not a bad pick. Sure. Talk about where picks were. Oh, sure. All right. So for my pick, mostly to mostly to keep him away from War Bunnies, I'm going to pick Gree Empire. Oh, you dickhead. I told you. <laughs> three three E's. He's like he's like freedom, so he's got three E's there. Three e Empire. For those wondering, that was uh that was from his days playing Spore. All right, Dark Menace. He's uh, another one of our season one veterans, and very dominant last season, right? Then, 
we have Deepu, our resident Joker, who, uh, you know, versed in many a race and ready to pick up any build he just happens to see. All right, what do we know about Frieden? He loves his random, and he has a way of making it pretty far in. And yes, Revenant Ridge, you and him were teaming, and he he taught you a lot, didn't he? Yep. Between him and KJ, <laughs> that's what got me out of gold. All righty, there's that size storm jersey. Then we got Vale, our resident <clears throat> Kodas Terran expert from the Great Britain uh, islands, countries, so forth. And he's, you know, along with uh, how good he has done single, he's also been one of the more dominant forces when it comes to the 2v2s. Then we've got Sir Maligant, Sir longtime Maligant. Protoss player here, named after one of the uh, characters from King Arthur who did not make it into the Holy Grail movie. Uh, next one, uh, not Green hard to uh, not hard to sum him up. He's the guy who started this whole thing. No, 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 no. KJ Freedom. I'm doing the order they were picked in. Green Pyre is a Johnny come lately. KJ Freedom. <laughs> of Sidestorm Gaming, and, you know, too high on his other races, but he will be playing Freedom. Terran, which he's far enough behind in to actually make things competitive. Ooh, Doctor Style. Look at him. Instability. Fantastic Protoss player from a family that's been doing a whole lot of uh, FSL. And she's Instability. also been more well-known recently for some really stellar 2v2 work. There we go. DLS Mazel. He's uh he's out in the Philippines, DLS right? Mazel. And he, once again, very important figure in Sidestorm Gaming, and has done some really great job helping us with our media, especially our promo reels. Little Reaper, uh Protoss Little player. Reaper. You know, related to quite a few of the other players who have already been picked. And just an absolute monster when it comes to early gateway pressure. And then we got Greempire from Green over Empire. in Minnesota Barcraft. He no longer resides in Minnesota anymore, but a very skilled uh, Zerg player. Very good at controlling the map and very good coach himself. That's one of the big reasons I wanted him in here. All right. Does anyone else have some stuff they want to add? Some facts or some thoughts that I missed? No, there, there's cricket. Cricket. Yeah. All right, am I up again? I would like um. Let's see who we got. I would let you know. We got to make sure we have code beers ready, and I want Kitty Cat Gamer on my side. It shouldn't have uh, shared my pre-draft with uh, Hyper Turtle. Hey, I was the one telling you where to look all of this up. <laughs> yeah. All right, Nutrafil. Um, Deepu, you got any input first? I mean, I think we need to we could be here after, after Hyper Turtle picked one. We need yeah. to get that locked. Uh -huh. So what's the pick? What are you thinking? Hmm. I'm kind of actually feeling cloak. I don't know about you. Cloak or Chen? Is... I I would rather go with Chen Point, I think. I because I don't personally I don't remember Cloak. <laughs> My apologies. I remember Chen Point, he was at the Cheese Adelphia event. Yeah, you right. might also but... remember him as what was it, Tiger or something, right? Wasn't that his old name? At some point maybe. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, well... yeah, let's pick it. Alright. Ooh, it's me, huh? I will go for Fenrir. What I love already is how much these well-established families are being divided up, or occasionally put together. Alright, War Bunnies. What do you, what do you want to grab that you know I'm going to go after next? 
Um, I'm actually probably... I'm, I'm a big fan of this player, the Archaic. He's available. Mm-hmm. Yep, he's one of the people who's been in touch. Yeah. All right, Nachos. All right. Um, I'm going to go. I have the back-to-back, -back, so let's go with Cyan. And um, I think I'm going to go to... Um, uh, Cyan versus Kobe. Yeah, sorry, Kodai. yeah. Kodai. Yeah, Kodai. Pro, uh, for us, as far as my list is, but... Mm -hmm. um, let me do... Let me pull, uh, do a cloak, uh, cloak, Kobe. I need a Kobe before I get out of this round. All right, buddies. Hold on, I'm reading. War buddies. I am, I think the best code beer left, do blue. And by the way, Green Empire just noticed you didn't pick him, and he says your friendship is over. <laughs> Them's the breaks, you know? Yeah. Everything, thought, everything falls behind victory. I didn't think you'd grab him. I thought I'd be able to get him a little bit later. Betrayer, I say. Betrayer. Yeah. All right, Reverend Ridge. I will go for Regret, a Code Uh, well, that's Revan Ridge. Neutrophil. All right, Neutrophil. All right, well, um, I'm surprised this hasn't been picked yet, but I'm gonna go with Harouge. Is, uh, I have a question. Is Stu Blue got marked down as A? Is Stu Blue A or is he B? He's A. He actually beat me. <laughs> he actually beat a couple of the other Code A players with a lot of gateway. And the O and Haru is, of course, is capitalized. Because you have him on your list as B. Do I? Yes. Yeah, some of this, some of this is just based on a bunch of different, uh, bunch of different tournaments and he did start in B, so I will move him. I mean we'd have to check in with him, wouldn't we? Hello. But I would say he's already beaten enough code A players that uh, I'm gonna put him there for now. Alright, and that means it's me up next. Turtle. Well I want to keep things going with some uh, familiar names to me and names that are less familiar to my opponent. So we got a new player here, a uh, Kodas Protoss Parkanian. <laughs> Parkanian, get well soon if you're watching. Yeah. All right, Kitty Cat Gamer. Zerg player, once again, you know, part of one of the more notable families to play here. One of the players who, you know, still still in code B in 1v1, but actually did some really great work when paired up with some higher level teammates in 2v2. Chien Pone uh, and Fenrir, might as well uh, list them together. They, they teamed up for a while. They really love their meme builds. They really love just throwing every, all Jeez. caution to the wind and just rushing possibly together. But in this case, they are going to be on different teams. Then we have the Archaic. Um, definitely a very successful Protoss player in the A group. He hasn't been involved as much, but he's shown a lot of interest in getting involved again. Bring him up. Then we got Saya. He is the Sidestorm community manager. Protoss player of, I'm not sure, I be... has he ever won a code A? I think he Sorry. has, I know he's made it to the finals before.
And I, I'm still trying to remember what Cloak's old name was. It had Tiger in the name, I know that. Tiger Eye. Tiger Eye, yeah. Lucky Tiger, Lucky Tiger, that is it. Yeah, he's, you know, showed quite a bit of improvement. It's been a while since we've seen him, and he has admitted himself that he hasn't been playing much, but he's definitely up for giving it a try. Stu Blue, one of our younger players. I can see a lot in common with him and Little Reaper and just... Just this brutal gateway play that has felled many an older opponent. Let's put it that way. Stupid. Regret. I haven't seen a little while. Does someone else want to jump in on that one? Cloak. No, that's Code Zerg. Regret. Yeah. Yeah. I know he's made it a little ways in. Okay, now Harus was a new player last season and I believe made it all the way to the finals before falling just a little bit short. Uh, plays all the way out in, uh, what is it, Algeria, yeah. Um, uh, you know, usually late at night over there, but he's surprised a lot of people uh, with just amazing map control. And then who was the last one just disappeared? <laughs> Who was my last pick? Oh yes, Parcanian. Yeah, I'll take that one. He is a Protoss player who has actually been helping out quite a few of the Minnesota Barcraft people. And is, uh, I believe, just getting out of the hospital. So, there's... <laughs> but you will, find, you will find him to be very effective, very strategic, and excellent with air control. Alright, and that would put me in the spotlight. I would like... I would like Hurt in Time, actually. Mm. Code S Terran. Okay, hey, um, I think we were feeling ETTT. -T -T. Well, hang on, before uh, we lock that in. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look at the. You got time, you could deliver it. <clears throat> well, I don't want to say it out loud. What do you think of this topic? Just type to each other. Yeah, we are, we are. Oh, okay. What do you think? Hmm. Because... Neutrophil turning the lights down so no one can read his lips. He's got his but... hand over his mouth, too. If you gotta confer, confer. We've got over a minute left. Okay, let's do yeah, that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll lock in with ETTT. Yes. Alrighty. That would be a Code Protoss. Alright. Uh... You know, it's one of those things, I think he's competed as different ones, but I can definitely change that if you want me to. I mean, we'll see yeah. what he picks. I think he has a total of, like, 10 hours in the game in total, so... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really leave it up to him. to him. Let the rock fall where they will. Mm -hmm. Revenant Rage. Mm. Revenant Rage. Can we see the list I... again? I will get new. Mm -hmm. Terran, Kodas Terran. Yeah. One a, a brand new player this season, one of the recent recruits. War Bunnies. Um, there's a name I don't remember seeing, Alexander. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Have they played recently? I... No, not not with the last two seasons. Sa save the long shots for last. Well, yeah. 
Right. Um, let me let me. Uh, I went through all of the uh, uh, Liquidpedia, and the last time we saw her was uh, season three. So. Yeah, that's. I was gonna say. So how um, how many code beers are left? Well, we got a we got a few. Fen is it Fenrir? No, I'm yeah. already taken. Oh no, I mean uh, Nismo Flare and Panic Switch mm -hmm. in the Super XL. Um. Uh, mm -hmm. And also. I'm just trying yeah. to get a hold of the list. Mm -hmm. And then Pebble, but uh, likely 2v2 only for that one. Mm -hmm. Right, so... This has a Coke beer, I guess. I just didn't want to get caught with no Coke beer. That kind of... Right. Mm -hmm. the time, but... Can oh, you, you just have to forfeit one match per night. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think this is just a full on base wow. trade from there. Some run back, or does he go you for want to show what a good friend you are to Green Empire? You could trade for him. <laughs> I would like that, but I don't know if that would fly. Um, How much time we have down, left? Lock is up on the screen. I, oh. I don't I don't I think it was there in the first the place. List. I can't see who's been taken. All I... right, if you want a code beer, there is Nismo Flareum, Panic Switched, Miss Mrs. Uber Excel, Alessander, and then yeah, a couple who were only interested in 2v2 as far as code B goes. And I do plan to reach out and see if there's anyone who's fairly new to the game who would like to learn it under the ring under the wing of someone else in a big tournament. Did Mr. Super XL, did that get mentioned? That's a code beer? Yep, she is a code beer. I, and yeah, I mentioned her. Um, I'm going to go New Lord. New Lord? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> New Lord Code A Protoss? Yeah. All right, here we go. Back to back uh, picks. I'm going to do gray, code A, Zerg. And I myself is a code B, so I, I feel like I'm the second code beer, so I'm not I'm not dying for code beers. Um, I, might sh I might shoot myself in the foot. So let me get um, for my second choice. Okay, I need a gray. And um, from season six, uh, oh, uh, oh yeah, uh, Miguel, uh, Miguel Gela, Code A Protoss. Participated in uh, TV2. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. New Lord. Okay, let's, uh... I'm putting a dash next to the name of each person who's already been taken. Miguela. Excellent. I'm good, thank you. Yeah, let's, uh, let's make sure the clock is on the screen somewhere. Uh, 
Let me just check. Light HUD is code S, not A. Yes. Light HUD's good. I think he was uh, fourth place last season in code S. Light HUD, yeah. He's listed I'll as take... code S. That's Terran. Okay, yeah. I'll take Light HUD. Yeah. What's it gonna be? I'll take Miss Uber Exile. She is Code B Protoss. Like Hood. This is Uber XL. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Neutrophil. Neutrophil. Uh, for this one, I think we're feeling very cool. All right, very cool. Not literally, uh, very cool, the Code A Protoss, yep. Very cool. All right, for me, I'm going to go with Jam PZ. Code S Protoss. Oh, well, it's just good enough here. Yeah. You're right. Oh, I think I'm still next, but I'm gonna give it a moment. Mm -hmm. I'm just making sure that all of these are organized in a way where we can find them. Oh, and, and J M, it's J M P Z. Yeah. For, uh, no, no vowels there. He has shoes. Okay, no so. All right. I mean, we can we can put context clues could could uh, together. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> All right. Next pick. I'm going with uh, Nismo Flarum. The. Let's see, what does he play out? He kept changing his mind, but I believe now he has a code B Protoss. Oh sure. And that's code B Protoss. I don't have any possibility to continue playing. Well, you can trade for a code B. And yeah, and like I said, code B is the main thing, the main level I'm going to be doing recruitment posts for. And I know that there are people who are going to bite on that, especially in some of the other communities I'm in. I just need to make sure that those posts uh, say exactly how low in MMR they have to be. So don't worry, don't worry, Bonnie, as I've got your back. We are going to take uh, Typhon Fusion. Mm hmm. All right, well, I got to get going. I see my team's drafts is in good hands. Good luck to the rest of you guys. Thanks Have a good night, everyone. All right, Deepu, this is a great opportunity for me to be here. Yeah.
<laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye bye. No, you're at. See you around on the battlefield. There isn't type on fusion A. Revenant according to this rage. anyway. Um, <clears throat> I will go for Sloza. Uh, code Ooh. A for us. Yep. Sometimes known as Mighty Ant. Mighty Ant. <laughs> War bunnies. Is Ghost Chant available? Uh, possibly. What do you mean, possibly? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ghost Chaps has, yeah, mm -hmm. has been doing some 2v2 stuff at the very least in recent years. Mm -hmm. uh, More than season six. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I'll take Ghost Chant. Mm -hmm. A dog. Ghost Chant. All right, nachos. All right. Um, is hockey code S Terrence still available? Nachos. Yep. There we go. <laughs> and um, when you're ready. Mm -hmm. uh, let me go with uh, now we're stretching in the light we haven't seen in a while, at least on my list uh, I'm going to go with criminal code A uh, Protoss uh, I'll type it in oh, is it turn? criminal Panics, uh, panic switched. I've never seen this player before. It's been a while. Yeah, it's season three. Y yeah. Um, is he still play? Are they still an active player? Who knows? Mm -hmm. Do it! Do it! Do it! <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Yeah, I'll take panic switch. All right. 
And remember, you know, you can always go the Mr. Burns route and bribe them out of retirement if they don't, if they're not interested. There we go. There we go. Those are pro tips. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I've been watching them. Some of them are still, some of them aged pretty well. Love it. I will go for T L M N Ronin code A Zerg. Um, could you put me down for Seth Odess? I was wondering if anybody would notice him. Seth. Brother, aren't you the best insult ever? I am going to go with Casper 631. Code A Protoss. Casper 631. And Code Protoss Archnog. Archnog. Yeah, well. I I didn't yeah, I didn't I didn't make the list. It was just off of Liquipedia, so Blame Team Liquid, okay? It ain't me. Yeah. Yeah, Team Liquid. Ah. So don't want to burn any bridges though. I see that Floza <laughs> is marked as taken on the spreadsheet, but I don't yeah. has anyone actually taken him? Yeah, that's the ends. There we go. Okay. Like Deepu, a man of many names. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. Dang. I like that. What's up? I think... Oh, cool. Oh, Well, that Dang. should make it easier to get a hold of them. That's so... Yeah, I mean, for a lot of these, KJ, you might want to throw in some trivia, because some of these... We're at the point where some of these were just choosing to be some cool names. I, I do remember Archnog and Mighty Ant, though, from when they were competing. Mm hmm oh, cool. Okay, All right, um, so Neutrophil. Could you put me down with AXD 1987? AXD 1987. Revenant Rage. Yep, mm -hmm. that's the real treat here, aside from waiting us to kind of stare at the screen. Got a decent number of people watching, too, honestly. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Remember, anyone in the Twitch chat can throw suggestions at us, too. I forgot I had my mic muted again. Uh, I will go for a Weaver, code S, Protoss. Yeah. 
And I want to remind everyone, even though we have a few who are primarily interested in 2v2, all three of those people are people who have been active in the chat lately. So, you know, even if they're only interested in certain gameplay modes, you're more likely to get a hold of them with some of these guys. War bunnies. Has Pebbles been taken? Yeah, Pe Pebbles hasn't been taken. I was actually just correcting that. So I was just going to say, man. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Pebble. All right, now I'm going to put that dash back again. Can maybe talk him into playing. Yeah, like... exactly. Like I said, bribery. You're a plumber, man. You got money. Don't tell me you don't. Nachos. Is this the last pick? Yeah, it's pretty close to it. Yeah, I mean, he yeah. has a few more right here. Um, yep. So, uh, for my back-to-back, -back, uh, I was exactly hoping uh, one of uh, the three TBT 2B2s land in my lap. I was hoping to go for all Zerg. Well, let's go with Chunley, Code B, Terran, 2B2. And the other is Rex, Code A, 2B2 only, Zerg. Oh, yeah, definitely. Chunley. Rex. Mm -hmm. Yep, they played 2v2 as the blind and the deaf, right? Mm -hmm. The blind leading the deaf. Wait, Chumley and Rex are husband and wife? Yep. Yes. Oh, that's a bonus. I, I did not know that. How fun. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, Go board. Mm hmm. There's only a couple names that I, only a couple of people left, and I don't, I don't remember seeing any of them. Yeah, honestly, honestly, probably, with the players left, you're probably as likely to cross paths with some of them as others. Alessandro was the only one you recognized before, right? Kind of whoever's left. There's Alessandro. Yep. And there is DB. Mm-hmm. Caffeineho. DB. <laughs> Lowrider. Mordred. Mm -hmm. Alexander. Charisma. And Fluffy. Those, those are people who have been missing in action for a little while. Yeah. I, I mean, I remember some of them, but that, that was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I, are there, are there, what are the chances that I could, that any of them are actually going to play? Yeah. Mordred and Lowrider and DB. Mm-hmm. Which you don't, by the way, War Bunny is uh, neutral Phil Hauser. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm helping out. Oh, time's up. Uh, <laughs> I might have to recruit someone. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, <laughs> um, I'm going to yeah. be putting recruitment's going to be heavily focused on Code B as I'm as I make some of the posts. We'll go Alessandro. Alessandro. Yeah. Alexander. All right. Revenant Rage, which player that you've never heard of is your favorite? Uh, I'll go for Charisma. Ooh, it's a cool name. 
plant queen, something like that. Plant queen. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, Deepu. Yeah. Deepu's putting words in Neutrophil's mouth. What you gonna say? Yeah. Well, um, he's not here, but. I'm going to go with Fluffy. Fluffy. Okay. I'm going to do Low Rider. Let's code a Protoss here. And might be a Zerg B. Well, we'll find out if I can get a hold of him. Take with that low rider. It's just a code B by today's standards and Zerg. Hyper Turtle. Yes, indeed. And not the good kind of clock. All right. I'll do Mordred. Code A Protoss. I will grab Calf and Joe. I don't know. And Revenant Rage, would you like to pick DB? Just suggestion. Is that the last person available? <laughs> yes, it is. That's yes. why I dryly said just to suggest. You know, it ain't funny if you have to explain it, funny as so. Uh. <laughs> LOL. That, that leaves my and Nacho's team short. <laughs> Technically short of player, but I think it's kind of short. Two or three. Well, I mean, mm. I think a handful of these are actually going to be people who won't be showing up, but. Yep. Okay. The people who this is their first season. So that oh. would be Nuke. That would be Nuke. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nismo Florum and Parcanian. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. yep. That's me. And then if I if more people reach out to me, I will let everyone know when they're available if I've approved them. All right. So, is the first match of the season going to be in two weeks? Yeah, you did. Uh, in one week, the 20th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So each night will involve two teams taking each other on. We're going to be doing this on Fridays. And each play, each team has to provide a code A, a code B, and a code S player. Additionally, you know, it's going to be A versus A, B versus B, S versus S. If it goes to a fourth match, 
they could choose a pair from their team for 2v2. And then there could be one final match that can be, you know, any one player they want to go with. Now, players who are code B are allowed to participate in A or S matches. Code A can participate in S matches, so you can shoot up, but you can't shoot down. It'd be around Robin. We're also going to be doing some end of season award voting too for uh, MVPs, best team logo, uh, you know, most memorable play of the season. We're going to be listing those pretty soon. Uh, it's going to be round robin, and then the top four teams are going to be going into an elimination playoff. Is there anything big I missed? Yep. And you can talk to you can talk to your team in between maps. Um there's also going to be a lot of room for coaching and we can also do some additional matches just hit me up if there's a night where you'd like to do some show stuff, some practice matches or live coaching with your team if you want to broadcast. There's going to be room for some uh, additional, you know, just kind of pointless fun matches, too. And some room for some, uh, you know, big name content creators to do casting, too. I said flattery people. And one of the big things we want to do over the next week, aside from reaching out to your players, Pick a team name and see if you can create a uh, good banner for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so two days ahead, so the Wednesday before the match. And then... Mm -hmm. I think so. And I'm always going to be involved with the casting, but the team captains welcome to join in casting any of the matches for themselves, for their group. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'd be freaking awesome. This guy knows people. Don't sell him short. Wait, uh, I have a question. Uh, I mean, this is just a suggestion. Should we uh, have a, um, uh, I, I don't want to be exclusive, but like a captain's only um chat to kind of uh cut down on the chatter for fsl like an fsl and fsl captain yeah yeah we can do one chat for captains and then a chat for each team I exactly yeah yep yeah. yeah i like it yeah i have a lot of questions but i don't want to bog down the the main fsl chat so
Yeah. Uh, I had a quick question. Mm -hmm. uh, if, when do you think we'll have those team chats available? I want to go introduce myself to the team, get to know them. With, by the end of the night, I got to pick up my daughter next from uh, her grandparents. But after that, I don't think it should take me very long to right click a few times. I've been doing enough right clicking on the uh, on the draft list anyway. So trust me. Fingers are ready to go. You know what? We even like for me, just being uh, you know, just a, a second timer. Uh, I recognize a lot of these names, so it was just like, oh yeah, I want that person on my uh, on my team. You know, so yeah. Or at the very least, you know someone who knows them, yeah. That's all. And if I may say, another great way is with one of those getting the band back together montages. No doubt. <laughs> right. Right. They don't have to be available every Friday. They don't even have to be available every Friday that the team's playing. It's, it's a wonderful thing for those of us who keep bringing up the, mm, you know, I have a real life too. Well, now you got no more excuses. Oh, absolutely. All right, let's sign off. I am actually creating the chat, the text channels as we speak. Cool. All right. Good luck, y'all. Good luck. Have fun. Few things in StarCraft 2 are more satisfying than winning against a toxic opponent, especially when they cheese. In the first game, the opponent stacks his probes to make it look like a single unit. If you look closely, you can tell it's not just one probe, so you can either fight it or run away. Watch the split of one of the SCVs to draw the probes away while we close the supply depot trapping it. With Terran, you can lift the building and mine as usual. Be ready to repair and have a marine to keep him locked in. Beautiful. Funny enough, the same toxic opponent queues up again. Some of these clowns will do the same exact thing and rage. You can use your confidence against him. While he's busy with killing the pylon, repowering mine. Wait till the zealot pops out and engage. Remember to avoid fighting by the mineral lines where the probes can be stacked, and try to fight by your gateway choke point with your zealot. Time is on your side as you add zealots. Enjoy the tears, beautiful.
Sarah, what have you done? Kerrigan, the die you cast. Indeed. 